Hi, I'm Emily Brady and I'm an ordinary Hoosier. I just graduated from Brown County High School. I played three sports, volleyball, basketball, and track. And I'm continuing my education at Indiana State University. I'll be majoring in exercise science and I'll be on their track and field team. I chose Indiana State for many reasons. The campus is amazing. I really loved my visit there. The coaches were a huge part of my decision. They can help me reach my goals and they have a great exercise science program, so it all just added up for me. Track means a lot to me. When I was little, I watched all four of my older siblings compete in track. That's the only sport that all five of us have in common. Um, so I just started because my brother and sister were really good pole vaulters, so I started young with their coach. It's shown me a lot about responsibility because if you don't do the workouts, you're not gonna see results, so it's 100% all on you. The coaches can tell you everything to do, but if you don't do it, then it's not gonna help you at all. Um, so it taught me a lot, and it's just fun. Even when the workouts are terrible and they're really, really difficult, it's still fun because I love pushing my body, I love seeing results, and I'm just so glad I get to continue for four more years. I think of as I made it to state, the state track meet freshman year in pole vault, uh, which was my goal. I also wanted to break the pole vault record my freshman year. I told my sister I would because it was initially hers at 9-6 <clears throat> when I came in as a freshman. And I beat that at regionals my freshman year. I think I jumped 10-3. Then I ended up uh, going to state and clearing 10 feet, I think. Um, so that was a pretty big moment for me and from then on I was like I can do this I'm gonna I want to break my record every year and I want to go to state every year and then sophomore year I went to state as well it was either sophomore or junior year where I got the conference record at 10-8 um, so I broke the school my own school record that time again went to state unfortunately I know I did but I still made it there which is a great accomplishment and one of my goals junior year um, also conference champion and made it to state. I think I cleared 11 junior year. It's hard to remember now. But um, I broke my own record again, made it to state, and once again, no hide it at state, which was awful, especially the second time around, to work so hard and then get there and no height. Opening height was something easy. I'd cleared it all season. I just let nerves get the best of me. Senior year was a really great year. Uh, I cleared 11-3. So I broke my own record again, made it to state, competed at state. I was seated, tied for number six, which is to get a medal. Um, I was seated at 11 feet, three inches, coming in from regionals. That's what I cleared. And I ended up coming in 11th, which is two, two spots from meddling, um, which is like bittersweet, because I did well, but I wanted a medal. My opportunity to PR didn't end there. I was selected for an Indiana All-Star so I had one more high school meet ahead of me. It was a really great experience. And I PR'd there, I cleared 11-6, which also accounts for the school record. So that'll be my final school record, can't change it from there. Um, and I came in seventh, which is one place from a medal at Indiana All-Stars. In college, especially at a Division I level, 11-6 isn't gonna score a lot of points, and I know that. Um, but I know that I have a lot of potential, and so do my coaches, just because I've trained for three sports for four years year-round instead of one sport year-round. And I feel that once I can focus on one, I'm going to start getting up to those 12s and 13s. Um, and like I said, I like to set really high goals for myself, and a couple of those are to be the third woman in Indiana State history to hit 14 feet, um, one of which is still jumping. She'll be a senior when I'm a freshman, which is incredible to be able to jump with her. The second girl who hit that, she hit it first actually, is Kylie Hudson. Um, she's actually a professional pole vaulter right now. She had the same high school coach that I did, and she had the same college coach that I'm going to have. So that sounds like it was a pretty good combination for her. And another one of my big goals is to be an All-American, which is the top eight in the nation at nationals. And realistically, I know I'll probably have to wait a couple years for that, but I'm going to work hard to reach my goal. Um, and I know my coaches can get me there. And it's going to take upper 13 feet to get there. And I'm 
aware that that's two feet higher than I'm jumping now, but I'm ready for the challenge and I'm excited to get there. Everything just seems like it's coming together and it's paying off and it really means a lot because I have worked so hard to reach these goals and to know that I'm reaching them and that I get to set new ones now is incredible and I'm excited to begin another chapter. I started volunteering at the Humane Society in Brown County um, and it's really fun even though I get to clean cat cages um, I love animals and once I'm done with that I get to play with them for the rest of the day if I wanted to so uh, that's a really really great uh, way for me to volunteer because it's fun and it's it's really helpful to them. In eighth grade I began my Concert of Hope series in honor of uh, one of my gym teachers, Karen Harper, who was diagnosed with breast cancer a second time while I was in her class. So I wanted to do something to help her and others in her situation. So um, I love to sing. It's one of my favorite hobbies. So my parents got a band together and we all started practicing about 15 to 20 songs and we put on a show in the Brown County High School Auditorium and charged this amount to get in and accepted donations, auctioned off paintings and things like that and raised money for Relay for Life. Music means a lot to me. Um, it's hard to explain. I listen to music every day. I sing just about every day and if I don't it's kind of a strange day even if it's just to myself or just listening to music in headphones. Um, I like a lot of types of music, but my favorite is when the words really mean something, when it tells a story. Um, and I'd love to be a songwriter, and I've tried, but I'm not, that's something I'm not great at, so that's something I'll keep working on for fun, but it just means a lot because there's so many different ways it can make you feel. It's just, it's like a therapy type thing for any time. My whole family has been really supportive of me, and I, like I said, it took a lot of hard work to get to where I am now, um, but I couldn't have done it without my parents especially, um, and four older siblings. I'm the youngest of five, which was fun. Um, obviously, they pushed me um, athletically a lot, because I always, I'm competitive, and I love to compete with my older brothers and sisters. Um, but I definitely want to thank my parents for being so supportive and um, taking me to camps and taking me and practicing in the band for these Relay, con Relay for Life concerts and just being so supportive. And it's been a great experience. I would like to say to younger people watching this that um, it does take a lot of hard work to be successful and to reach your goals. but. I would say keep setting those goals, keep setting them high because that forces you, if you really want to reach that goal, it forces you to work for it, which is how your entire life is going to be. And I know I haven't experienced life yet, but that's how I'm going to attack it, is setting high goals and working hard to reach them. And it's going to seem terrible at the time, it's going to feel like you can't do it, but once you reach that goal and you set a new one, that that's success. You've done it and it feels great.